Hey Libra, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here for January 10th to the 16th. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, keep in mind these are general reads, so they may not resonate with everyone out there. So if you are interested in a personal reading, connect with me on my Instagram or all that information is in the description box down below. Uh, apologies in advance if the table shakes. I'm going to try to leave, leave, um, keep my elbows up here, but um, it's just the mount that I'm working with today. So um, we're going to start off with uh, three cards for Whispers of Lord Ganesha, um, and then we'll kind of go a little bit over that, kind of get the overall energy going in, and then we'll get into your reading. I'll use my Light Sears Tarot today and um, see what's going on with you guys, all right? First card we get for you is Harmony, number 22. Okay, and next card is... Openness, number 18. A little bit of a glare there. There you go. And last but not least, we have Nurture. All right, let's see what's going on with these, and then uh, we'll get into it here. So I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. I'm um, just going to be a um, kind of an overall summary, and then we'll get into your, to your main reading here. Okay, so number 22... Harmony, you deserve to feel good about your existence, okay? So the card is symbol symbolic of your personal beliefs and what will bring you happiness in life. Ganesha is asking you to remember to radiate warmth and energy. Take some time to reflect on your personal values and attitudes. What do you believe will bring you the outcomes you are longing for in order to have a complete and happy life, okay? Second one, we have openness. Um, that is number 18. I'm calling out the numbers because these numbers may mean something to you. It may not. Um, so openness, openness, observe, evaluate, and make inquiries before forming a conclusion. Okay. When the moon is wanting in this crescent phase, it is a good time to begin to review endeav endeavors and correct mistakes. It is it is time to throw out what you no longer need and clear away excess and old energy, including any clutter you may have accumulated. In addition to discarding excessive material things in life, eliminate any unhealthy behaviors and relationships. Okay. Uh, last but not least, number 38 is nurture. So focus on creating a calm and balanced life for yourself. Ganesha is asking you to maintain a compassionate, nurturing, realistic, and down-to-earth attitude when it comes to your collaborating with others and your present conditions. You can benefit from being more resourceful and practical. This is a time, this is a time of slowing down and biding your time and resources. Deal with any issues as they arise and brainstorm practical and easy solutions that will fix the problem with minimal drama okay so that's your ganesha messages there and uh, let's get into your reading for uh january 10th to the 16th what we got going on for libra for january 10th to the 16th keep in mind we do have an upcoming i mean it's not in the next week but we do have a full moon coming on the 17th in cancer and then we'll also you know it's the shadow retro and then we're getting into retrograde so you know expect things from the past coming back you know just kind of uh, even old triggers or things that you've been doing addictive wise you know just look out for those things that are starting to creep up back into people all right so into your lives here first card is the six of swords so this is air energy Lib libra gemini aquarius so this is you moving forward um, so definitely moving forward or having a direction here of of making some changes, all right? Let's see what your challenge is coming up here. Maybe you're leaving situations. Maybe you stopped, um, you know, you're just kind of moving forward from old situations and wanting something new or moving towards something new here. Um, your Five of Cups being your challenge, okay? So Five of Cups energy, that's you just kind of letting go of past memories and you know, maybe even thinking about certain things or people or places. Uh, again, flip the energies if you need to. But, 
you know, I feel like this is you just kind of letting go of past things, past memories, okay? Just kind of accepting that, you know, the past is the past and, and you need to create something new now, all right? Um, let's see in your focus what's going on. And, you know, the Five of Cups energy is not like one of those you just kind of, you can see her, um, you know, she's kind of just throwing that in the in the ground there and just kind of, you know, just letting it go and stuff. But it takes time. It takes a lot of time and energy for that to happen. And this could be, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship or anything. This could just be, you know, your own past things that you've done that you need to let go as well. Okay, and you're moving forward from it. I can see you doing that. Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you know, I feel like this is you just kind of getting more in touch with you and yourself, your emotions, you know, how you want to feel. Um, and maybe what makes you happy, you know, that's kind of kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Recent past, what we got going on for Libra in recent past? The Five of Pentacles. So Five of Pentacles is something to do with finances. I don't know if you can hear. We've got some jets flying over us. All right, so recent past, Five of Pentacles, um, money, finance, uh, you know, just your money. You're worried about some sort of financial situation. Um, or maybe you were in this this dilemma of like worried about money, but um, again, that's your recent past here. Um, you know, you, as you can tell, you know, you, there's a key in that picture. There's a door. You know, you got to be able to open the door and and make your own opportunities. You know, I think um, was the Rock said something here one day, um, or it was like a quote it said something like, um, you know, the opportunity knocks just kick that damn door down, <laughs> something like that. But it's a good thing. I mean, like sometimes, you know, there's gonna be opportunities and sometimes they don't come, they're, not, they're just not gonna come on your lap, right? You have to go get those opportunities, right? So you have to make it happen for yourself. Um, your possibilities, you do have the three of wands. So this is energy of you kind of looking out here in the future or looking to the future of what you want. What do you wanna do? Where do you wanna go? Um, you know, what, what is your future looking like? You know, what do you see yourself in the next year? Um, you know, even, you don't have to say five years from now. Let's just say, let's where, where do you want to be in December of this year? You know, how much do you want to improve? How much do you want to um, grow? You know, so, you know, that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing here is that you're kind of going to get in this energy of kind of growing yourself here. Maybe even investing more time into yourself as well. Uh, near future, we do have the six of pentacles. Okay, so... For those of you guys uh, looking for a job or something like that, I feel like there's going to be opportunities coming towards you. For others of you, um, you know, if you've been looking for relationships or um, just connections, I don't, it doesn't have to be romantic. You just kind of want to evil, even evil, even give and take. Okay, so that's just like you. You know, maybe you put a lot of effort into relationships. Maybe you put a lot of energy into it but you're not getting that return you know so i think in the near future here, things are going to change to where you're going to find some things balancing out for you financially and in in connections okay um let's see in your fields what's going on for libra we have the three of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy um you know that's energy of you just kind of going out having a good time or just having a few drinks kind of just being with your friends or maybe just kind of having fun okay i feel like you're kind of getting into that energy of you wanting to have some fun um you know and kind of enjoy life a little bit you know enjoy a little bit of what you want to do what what makes you happy you know and i feel like that's kind of the energy that you're going to get into or probably going into already your environment is judgment making a decision okay so you're gonna be making a choice in the coming week here and I feel like that choice possibly might be, um, you know, you, you know, maybe you're just making a choice to take care of yourself. Maybe you're making a choice to um, make changes for yourself in a better way, make, making a positive environment, um, just making things positive. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. All right. Um, your hopes and fears, you do have the 10 of pentacles. So money wise is going to be looking good for you or financially or something like that stability as well um you are hoping for that this is something that you're working towards okay possible outcome here for you guys is um let's see possible outcome for libra and that was a ten of swords that fell out there so 
you know, I could easily, you know, that is like an energy of you kind of looking out forward into the future. But I kind of want to get another card here for you. Um, let's see. Possible outcome for Libra. We have the star. Okay. So, you know, it's energy of you kind of wishing and hoping, kind of going towards your dreams. Okay. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the nine of cups. And this tells me that whatever dreams, whatever focusing, whatever you are focusing on, um, I feel like next week you might be getting these ideas or th things coming towards you like, this is the direction you want to go. This is what you want to do. Again, you kind of have this energy of um, having that already, you know? And I feel like with the star being your outcome, I feel like you're going to find out like what you really want, what's truly going to make you happy. You kind of go within here with the queen of cups, you know, just kind of like, you know what, this is what I want. This is what makes me happy, you know, and I feel like you're going to get that answer here. And your hopes is the Ten of Pentacles, family life, stability, something something in the future here that's very stable and happy. You got the kids running around. You got the dog there. And I feel like with the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Cups, your wishes will be coming true here, okay? But you need to work hard towards it, okay? Um, it's not the thing where, you know, when we do readings here, this is the energy, but you do this energy. This is you making it happen for yourself, right? So if if you just sit there and not do anything about it, you know, you just kind of look at her. She's just kind of like, male or female, doesn't matter. I mean, just kind of putting your head down and hoping that someone puts money on their lap or puts something on their lap. It doesn't work that way because the key is there for you. You need to get up and go get the key and you need to be able to put it through the door and open the door. So you need to put the work in to get what you want okay so if you want an equal relationship if you want more money you want a raise you want a promotion you want a new job whatever it is you want to start a new business whatever that is i see you doing it but you're getting up and making that happen to your for yourself queen of cups loving yourself taking care of yourself okay three of cups you know you're not stressed about it uh, judgment there making that decision to move towards your dreams that's what i see i see you just kind of making that uh making that uh movement forward here okay so um and again just keep in mind bottom of the deck nine of cups this is like whatever you focus on whatever you you d decide to do you're you're um and and you start moving towards that direction good things are going to start coming towards you and I'm not going to say this is going to happen next week I feel like the energy is you're going to make a decision or you're going to be moving forward in that direction towards next week here. Um, but you're going to start seeing good stuff, Ten of Pentacles, you know, something that you've been wanting, wishing, hoping for coming towards you. OK, um, so that is what I see for you guys next week, Libra. Uh, let me get you guys some messages from the universe and we should be good, should be good. But yeah, I mean. Main thing in anything, right? You just always got to put work into whatever you're doing. Um, nothing comes in for, you know, even as relationships. Um, you know, you got to put the work into it. It doesn't just happen. So, um, and if it's like a new business, you got to put the work into building that business. So, whatever it is, I see you doing the work. I feel like next week is going to be about you making the decision of what, which direction you really want to go towards. And then, you know, you're going towards the the path that you want to go that makes you happy basically okay let's see here three cards messages for libra what do we got going on i witnessed the darkness and call on the light with my prayer thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love okay next card out we have my faith has the power to turn on trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Last but not least, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Okay? And I mentioned earlier, you know, the three cups that came out for you, you kind of have to let, let, you know, let go of control. You know, I feel like it's a lot where a lot of us, maybe sometimes we want something so bad where we just keep focusing and focusing on it, but... Understand that things are going to happen for you when they're supposed to happen. And, you know, if you're focusing on your own thing, work, you're working on yourself, you're working on creating something that you want, um, you know, again, just don't forget to have fun. You know, it's life. We have, you know, we're not here to be autopilot for the rest of our life, right? We're not here to get up, go to work, come home, eat, sleep, get up, go to work, come home, eat, sleep. We're not doing all that stuff. You know, get out, have fun, make some plans. And, 
you know, those of us that don't have the money to go on vacation and stuff like that, well, you know, go to the park. Um, you know, make some lunch, go sit down at the park and have a good time. If it's snowing, uh, if the weather's bad, you know, just um, kick on some YouTube and watch some drone footage. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people out there doing some camping and stuff and, and just kind of see the campfire, you know. I know it sounds kind of corny for some people for me to say that, but believe it or not, you know, it does help. You know, you just kind of get your mind even though you physically are not there, you can make your mind being over there. Does that make sense? Like you could, if you can really just put yourself in their position and it's like, wow, you know, you do have this, this mini vacation in your mind to where you can kind of be away from all the other drama, you know? So sometimes people need that. And sometimes that you, that's what you need to kind of move forward as well. But whatever the case is, have fun, have fun. All right. So Libra, this is your message for January 10th to the 16th. I hope you enjoyed that. Please hit the like subscribe if you have not already and then um i'll be coming out with some more weeklies here for you guys and uh, once again appreciate your support and until next time we'll see you have a good one bye